We can know. see you, you moron. That can't be right. <sighs> Rack We're up, in the man. middle of school right now. No field trips. Here. Maybe this studious looking young man will help.
inhibitor container detected. Inhibitor container detected. Great. Another water thief. Just what I need. Between thieves and infected, I'll be out of business soon. Wait, what are you talking about? You came to rob me, didn't you? I'm here because a guy named Julian claims you sold him poisoned water. I didn't poison anything. All right? Uh, Julian claims otherwise. Sure. Listen to the guy who sold me flour mixed with plaster. If you're not the thief, how are you with infected? I need to get rid of those things that are down there. If not, I'm done here. Poison water or not. Okay, I'll get rid of the infected, and you tell me what happened. Deal? Sure. Deal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
away, kid. All right, okay, you're safe. Now, what's the story with the water? Go ahead. So you really are one of those fucked up pilgrims. But you're fucked up. Now we're safe. Gotta be a fucking criminal. Or pretty damn fucked up to drag your ass hundreds of miles through a world full of virus. Fucked up in a good way, of course. So, what about the water? There ain't nothing wrong with my water. A man at the bazaar was poisoned. And you'll be blamed if he dies. <sighs> damn it. Okay. It was an accident. Okay? Yeah, an accident. It's because of these goddamn thieves. Thieves? They're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. So, I decided to set the trap. Do you deliberately poison the water to kill the bandits? Uh, not quite. At least, uh, I didn't mean to. A, a while ago, I killed this viral that came crawling in here. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. The whole tub fucking ruined. But then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a lesson? So I filled some bottles with the zombie water, sent them out where they'd be easy to see. They were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julian. Look, I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. Don't blame Julian and he'll hang. Don't you worry about Julian. Oh, and if not, so. Just be honest and tell your story. You nuts! I won't let Julian hang for something he didn't do. Fuck it, you! So that's it. We got <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
go, go. What's going on? Bevan's husband is dead. Julian's been accused of murdering him by poisoning his water. Aiden, please, tell them it wasn't me. Julian is innocent. A viral fell into his supplier's storage tub. The guy drunkenly sold Julian contaminated water. It wasn't a murder. You'd swear to that before the Bazaar Council? Yeah. Where's that supplier? He's going to stand trial in- Marco is dead. I, I, I killed him. And my job here is done. It's okay. I forgive you. That scum Marco got what he deserved. Thank you, Aiden. Half of my flower is yours. Yeah, the flower mixed with plaster? Huh? Uh, no. Where'd you hear that? Oh, yeah, so once, but, yeah, you know, it- I keep the plaster. Just pay me and we'll be even. All right. I'll tell Bibbin what happened. Aiden, you know anything about this Night Runner thing? You know this city was a fishing... centuries ago god here i sell the real deal Should've known he'd try to get back at us. I'm sorry? Julian sold us flour mixed with plaster once, and Luke complained to Carl. I guess this is Julian's revenge. Julian didn't do it, Bebin. It was Marco, his supplier. He, uh, well, he's paid for what he did. Marco's dead. Who cares? Won't help Luke now. Please, just go. My pal Steve put in a biomarker he hacked off and infected. Three days later, he was gone. Sometimes I venture out at street level just to look at the shops and signs from before the fall. Don't know why, but they fascinate me.
out too long, I get the feeling that there's no one left in the city. And then hey, horrible fear I heard Carl talking about water restrictions last night. Know anything about it, Aiden? Back off, kid. What are you up to these days, Aiden? have seen it all. Why don't you move along, Pilgrim? I haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. container. 
People only sentence. had bows, we arrows, and spears, people. and they managed to survive. Yeah. Is that why we'll survive, too? Truth be told, there were you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city, the VNC Tower. <laughs> was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot-tempered. Even for my tastes. What about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base.
So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. Oh, you won't meet them here. For now. Wait, you brought me here to take a look at the Peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the metro technical station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. We can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night, when there's less infected in the tunnels. Oh, <laughs> 
I'm in the tunnel. Okay. Now watch out for the infected. There might be a few, or a few dozen. I'm already in the PK base. I'll throw a UV flare through the vent, and you'll see how to get to the main station.
Master! Hack on. I got to the flare. Look around. The technical tunnel to the main station should be well lit. I've already lured the guards upstairs. I'll chat them up while you get inside.
I'm on the platform. Open the airlock. I'll be there in a second. Where did he come from? He was wandering through the tunnels. Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't look like a renegade. He's awake. What were you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. How is it that you lost saw nothing, heard nothing? And you managed to forget about the ban on passage. Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth. And you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always is said... dead. And now I'm in command. You've read the reports. A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. Looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone. <clears throat> Where did you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridges collapse. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. What's it like out there these days? What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. And you came here to take shelter. I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone? Hmm, well, maybe I can help you. But not for free. I'm used to trading. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer. Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar. Horribly mutilated. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud, 
and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But Command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Vilador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now I'd rather avoid that. And what do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me, and I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot, and we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Vilador suffered much. First it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. But people here learned not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. You'll be the first one through, once justice is done. Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. Look around. Ask people. And don't come back empty-handed. Good luck. seen a uniform like yours before. I'm a carrier. A carrier? What's that? I belong to the Carrier's Guild. I'm one of many. If there are so many of you, why haven't I seen your uniform before? We're discreet. We're entrusted with valuable information and therefore keep a low profile. Now your profile isn't so low right now. Indeed. Our headquarters are located in the center, and the only passage right now goes through the subway tunnels. The peacekeepers control the passage and aren't letting anyone in or out of the center right now. Until they do, I'm stranded. That sucks, especially since I'm in need of some information. I can't help you. We have a strict code of confidentiality. Only our guild master would be authorized to share information. And then he's the one I should talk to. Any other ways I can get into the center? Not that I'm aware of. On the surface, the border of the center is a no-man's land. It was devastated in a chemical attack, cutting this district off from the center. The air and ground are poison. Only the most freakish of monsters can survive there. Damn. Well, I'll have to find a way. Somehow. Good luck. Hey, hack on. You there? Hey then, buddy. Cool, you're alive. Yeah, I got caught and questioned. Good. They didn't kill you. Meet me outside. Law and order. Yesterday I had a good day. Killed five infected while on patrol. Nice. Do you have alcohol? If you're lucky, like me. Found this bottle in a basement while on patrol. Hey, so you got patrols covering the whole area? Someone's got to do it. City's got us to thank that it's even still standing. What, you want to join us? What I need to do? Complete the training. Hard as fuck. Not everyone can hack it. Don't need weak links, you know? Howdy, citizen. Welcome to Old Villador's PK Command Center. Hey, man. Where could I get some food? In the canteen. We have a canteen and a hospital at our base. Like in the army? Not like in the army. This is the army. We're bringing order to this fucking chaos. And who are you? I'm a courier. I travel between the zones. Pilgrim. You got it. And it takes balls to wander off-road like that. It's high time Command deals with the water issue. We need to take the water tower back.
You must help us. Otherwise, there will be a rebellion. Help us in the investigation. We'll help you with the bandits. I told you already. Nobody in the bazaar had anything to do with Lucas's death. Then why won't you let us search your homes, huh? If everyone is so innocent, then there'd be nothing to hide. Keep your brutes away from our homes, Anderson. So you're hiding someone. Time is running out, Carl. You don't hand over the killer, we'll raise your precious bazaar to the ground. Sow the wind and reap the whirlwind, Anderson. Don't bite off more than you can chew, old man. Aiden, come on. I'm on the roof next to the metro. The butchers are our greatest enemy. He's responsible for the Black Monday bombings and the death of two million people. My goods, but every... Adios, amigo. I told you already. I hope it's all the bazaar has anything to do with Lucas's death. This is the place to make up. Why won't you let us search your homes, huh? If everyone is so... Keep your brutes away from our homes. More steps, turn left, dodge the three infected there. 26 plus 82, 108 steps, plus the length of the living room.
stop. So, what did they want from you? If you'd been there like you said you'd be, I'm... Oh, oh, I did my best. I didn't know there was anyone else in the tunnel. Lucas's death is a big deal. They love this motherfucker like a father. Ato doesn't have Lucas's charisma. He's going to have problems. Ader said he might let me through to the center, if I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon, the Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. He believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer. An artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debts right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would... And what's his name? Hubert Cabatos. Every day he sets up shop in the nearby... Probably selling booze and wheat if you want to find the Lazarus. Okay. No, not me. I'm waiting for Hubie too. So get in line. Got it. You know when I'll be here? Maybe in an hour. Maybe two. You never know with old half assed That said, he's got the best moonshine. So, worth the wait. Uh, nothing to do but wait, I guess. Hey, you Hubert? Who's asking? A customer. I want to buy something. Hey, you're that stranger they wanted to hang, aren't you? Hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. W wait, I just want to buy something. So, that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep. Apparently he had an urgent appointment with another... If you can't... Yeah, yeah sure. Hack on. He's running away. Nah, sounds like you be. Oh, wait a sec. I see him. Arsenal's running to the northeast. Faster, Aiden. You almost got him.
Hakon. He's not here. <gasps> Impossible. I saw him right there. That little weasel must be hiding. Look around. Oh, wait, I see him. He's climbing. See that GRE building? He's climbing to the roof. I don't know anything! About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything, I swear! I'm told that you're a fence, hmm? A fence? No way! I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah. Hey, don't try to tell me. Well, then I won't. You know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass no I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Why did you run away from me? Because every five minutes... Okay, I may have given soon. How did you know the Lazarus... Come on, everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always showing it off. If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas. Yeah, but someone tried to sell it. I told you, I... She asked Stop it. fucking around. Tell me or I... Her name is Maya. I met her in the tenement building at Meat Packet. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. All right, I can find that. Hey, hack on. Hubert said someone tried to sell him the Lazarus. Do you know Amaya? No. Strange, because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. Meatpacking Square. It's a fucked up place. There are some barracks there. The army set up in 23 when shit went south. She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that overlook them. Okay. Stay in touch, bro. <laughs>
Shithole indeed. Hey kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. <laughs> it was so funny. Maya ain't a grown up. She's just a plain old girl. Hold on. You were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. How did you get a hold of a peacekeeper weapon? We all found it. Was wandering around with these punks and ran across a corpse. Happens a lot. He was totally dead. We searched him, and I took the brass who's a Watsits because I figured someone would pay a pretty penny for him. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. You expect me to just hand that brass who's a Watsit over? Are you nuts? The Hoosie Whatsit's real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. You could help us find a murderer. Okay. Well... That's a lot of money, kid. Of course it is. I have to buy water. And a marker for my brother. He's turning 12 soon. I can give you 10, and that's my last offer. Deal! Nobody wanted to buy it anyway. Back on. I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea where that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay. We were born smelly, and we'll die smelly. <laughs> That's a shame. I could use the work, you know? I got a feeling we're getting ourselves into trouble. We have no other choice. When I die, I want to be burned to ash and scattered on the street. This 
Oh, the Pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. Uh, a girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. Ah, it looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Aiders, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Aider, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop, too. My wife and kids are there, and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I... You can help me? I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's. Lucas managed to wound his killer before. If you find him, you'll not have... <sighs> okay. The commander was murdered in the bazaar. I'll try to find Lucas's... Splendid. That's your ticket. Is there anything else I should know before... Yes. As a matter of fact. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. Men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. Then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. Huh. Make it look bad. Get moving. Well, I reckon that since you're loitering, you have something for Worried me. about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. Meet me outside. Peter wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. Not doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. <sighs> Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie. His right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. There's also Dodger. A local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless... Do you prefer the girl? Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. Get more. 
more respect when I became a peacekeeper. 